Alrighty, so uh, how you guys doing? Hope all is well. Just uh, making two videos back to back. Um, I don't know when I will release it. Um, maybe the right after or the day after. But in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the plays that I had and I still have and I'm still holding, uh, which is TVIX, SPCE. Uh, and I'm going to talk about my MYO swing short. So in this video, it's going to be a bit of a daily recap from today. And it's going to be a bit about the swing. And uh, I'm just going to talk about uh, what I could have done better. Just just daily recap for myself. And uh, yeah, if you if it's uh, you like things like this, give it a like, share it with somebody you enjoyed, and uh, subscribe. Notifications on if if you want to. If not, no problem. Okay, so let's getting right into it. Let's kind of start with today's trade. So I had TVIX today. Uh, Shorted. I had a few other attempts, uh, small break-even trades, etc. Uh, this is a one. I also have puts on it, puts on UVXY. So I did a good job here. I think this was automatically set. So I was like, if it comes back in this area, I want to short it. Uh, this is what it was around here. Yeah. So previously when I was shorting it, I think I was shorting here, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but uh, I just had a short around here, small size, and my risk was, I think about here, 110, 110 something, 110, 60, 70. So that's what the risk was, and then a really good return, RR. Um, not that it matters because the size was small. So here risked two, three dollars, and I'm in the money. I don't know how much that is. Twelve dollars. That's good. Uh, so okay. All right. So this was small size. How can I improve on this? Ideally, so my my thesis here is there will be a temporary. Uh, bounce in spy and that's gonna cause so what I'm looking for is a bounce to add in hindsight of course I should have went full size here etc etc uh, but no I've been quote unquote long the market since Friday from at around 285s but uh, like a noob I actually longed so, wow, wow, that's crazy. I think I started longing at uh, 286. That's crazy. I'm so stupid. So this is why I'm stupid. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say stupid because uh, I bought some puts for this, and the puts I knew had a really high time decay, but I didn't want to put a lot of money into this. Uh, what I did is. I was like, okay, I understand that that, that the theta on this is really strong uh, because it's an ET, it's a leveraged ETF on its own, and the greedy side, the brown side of me was like, well, it's it moves really strong. If you get a put or something, it will be worth it. So it may be worth it, uh, I, as opposed to shorting the twenty four calls or something like that which has unlimited risk. This is not a niche play, so I, put, I bought some puts a week or two weeks out, 21, 22 or something. So I'm hoping that it goes above 100%. So that's the thought process. Now, how could I have improved? I do not know. I, technically, I remember shorting TVIX, and it was actually pretty... It's pretty For me, it was pretty dangerous because it was at 117. Yeah, I think it was yeah 
Yeah, it was short as the TVIX when it was 117, 118. And I stopped out, didn't chase it, stuff. So how could I play this better? The movement and the capital requirement that it took to trade TVIX uh, scared me off. The reason is because coronaviruses are here. And when that ETF goes, and you guys should check out my coronavirus video that I just put up before this, uh, talk about the building ETF, etc. So, uh, capital restrictions is why I didn't short TVIX. Thinking out loud, I mean, I'm sure it's psychological, but I could have, I should have shorted the equity side of UVXY. Oh, I know why I didn't short it because there was no freaking shares. I had to pay for shares for this. So stupid. Okay, that's why. Okay, so what if I can't, obviously I'm not gonna pay uh, Vision to borrow and pay. Interactive brokers didn't have it and I can't, uh, I don't have access to E-Trade or Cobra because I'm Canadian, which sucks. Okay, so how could I play of this better? I guess I couldn't have. I don't know if SPY has a strong time decay on it, probably not, but okay, I think now it makes me feel a bit better, it's like 70-80% there, I mean, I, I played it relatively to the best of my ability, given my, because I had, uh, psychologically speaking, you know what, I could, I should have just played the TVIX, reduced the size, but the problem is with this kind of thing, it's like, it takes up capital, so I don't know. It's a tough one. I had shares for this, so I did okay. The I guess the improvement would be to to do what I did today. To do what I did today, and which today what I did is I shorted the TVIX at uh, I think it's one hundred eight something, one hundred eight eighty ninety something like that. So what is the plan moving forward with this? The plan moving forward is ideally is to add to the winner. So here I'm in $12 a share. I don't really care about the $12 a share. The risk reward, uh, I don't know, if I, if I was like, let's say 109, 108.88 something. And then my risk was 110, so $2 to 12, so 6 to 1, probably more. I don't know. 110. Not the train, I apologize. Got the window open. So yeah, it's $20, 20 in so far. So it's so far if I have a month time error. So, um, that's not the point. I don't care about that. It's more, how do I, the goal is when this spikes up, I want to size in. I want to go 3x. Yeah, I want to go 3x. And when would that be? So, I got to add volume levels here. I don't know how to do that. another chart with volume okay one sec it's off the screen it's at a different thing so TVIX the volume levels there's no significant volume I suppose it's just collaborated one hour it's around 105 106 okay so if this gets to around this level 105 106 I am going to I'm going to add to my short so what does this mean 
I'm just gonna add 2x, 3x. So if the spy probably, which is around 300, right? Something like that, okay. Yeah, I, I am not the type of guy that knows if anybody asks what I think about the market, I don't know. I just, uh, I can't guess the future, but if I had to guess, I think it, the odds of it making a new high, is, in my opinion, is lower. So if it pulls back to around 300, 290s, that's when I would be adding to the TBIX and my risk would be break even. So that's the play on that right there, which is a long ass play. This one here is the second one is VXRT. Um, I've been short this name for a while, but it's it's relatively small size. Um, that's why it's up here, and just been cutting it and re-adding it. Just uh, I I'm not the type of guy that just holds throughout. A lot of the times I try to just cut it and then re-attack, etc., etc. So yeah. Yeah, it's probably short from here. Small size, not a big deal. One tenth, one fifteenth. I have usually I have like twenty, thirty positions um, with coronavirus. I had, and then when it goes against my risk, I cut like nine tenth. It's a very, very small size. So that's this play here. Just add it to the winner. This was because coronavirus sector was going down, and I talk about that in the ETF play. Shorted it. What is this? I have no idea. This must be IBIO. Yeah, I'm swinging this name, so it's not much to it. Shorted, covered, shorted again. Maybe this was a long short cover. Yeah, yeah. This was a short. <laughs> this was a short. This was a cover, and then I longed it. I don't know. I shouldn't do this. Because even though I made money on this one, it's not good. It's not good at all. Because sometimes things like this, and for me, it builds a bit of an ego. Because some of my friends in the room, uh, they were, we were all short as a team. And we were long, etc. So... Yeah, I longed it and then I sold. And then I started shorting the pops. I just sold into a bit of a break even because it wasn't uh, wasn't going the way I liked it. Should have broken something like that. Then I shorted small after hours. I just had an order there, very small, probably less than one third. Not a big deal. Okay. CODX, this is a long because I am uh, swinging short. I am hedged the position. Uh, risk was around here. Um, it worked out. Sold it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's it. It's not gonna bounce anymore. It's done." Next thing I know, a freaking pops in. I think I relonged it here at fifteen twenty one. Yeah, fifteen twenty one. I relonged it, and then I like a monkey. I hate this. I hate adding into a breakout I'm just not good at it so I added into a breakout it went above this level and it was holding so I was like okay let's go and then because I had uh, my average was probably somewhere here started selling it into the spikes sold mm. I still have my swing short on it uh, very small size still that's how you manage this you don't get stubborn with it uh, but sometimes this could be an excuse, it could be a problem that uh, it, uh, if I had, I had to box basically is what I'm saying. Because if I cover my shares, I can't get it back. And the other thing quickly that I'm going to talk about, this is uh, the Amigos. 
I'm gonna talk about short small cap. Cause this is just my plays. So if anybody else was watching, there uh, they'll know that I was short. Myo, I guess here it shows seven fifties from eight twenty, and then I added um, covered here today. Yeah. So original. Originally, I was long, and then if you guys have not seen the previous video, cool. If not, no problem. But this is the covers. So I was long from eight, sold into thirty fours, and then I started shorting from twenty five, covered seven fifties, so ten, and then I reshorted here, covered here. So note to self: have two trail stops, as it's working, which worked out nice here, and then the other one put me a bit net long, and I just sold that. Space, I did a really good job as well. I was short from the 40s. Um, I had equity. This is 34, but I was short uh, from 40s. And then I was short a lot of the calls here. So I did a good job in the sense that uh, good exercise price. Sometimes I'm horrible at that. So how do I get better? I guess try to short a bit out of the money so the two options the way I, I like shorting calls because it's almost like you're the house hey if anybody has any opinions on this or wants to educate me I am happy to learn uh, usually I do verticals I don't do usual verticals but um, I I like naked uh, shorting naked calls but the problem is it's really, really dangerous. Like I was very uncomfortable size with this, like very uncomfortable size. Um, but I do it a bit, quite a bit out of the money and like one week, two weeks out. And I only do it for names that I think I have a conviction on, but I have seen that it has gotten my ass kicked in the past. So sometimes I do vertical spread, which maxes, caps out my max loss. Uh, puts, I did a horrible job. So note to self, mm, I mean, puts gave me two, three hundred percent, but it's, I don't know if it was worth it. This gives me a hundred percent. So I just kept adding to winner every single day. I covered, actually, I covered some here, I covered some here. Yeah, I covered some here, here. And then on this day, this was, because uh, I was such a big size that the P&L swung was so bad from 150 to 4. My average is still 650, but it's like to see unrealistic. I was, I was, for me, it was a good, it was a, uncomfortable size I had this I had I was calling that 35 uh, I was this is the 40 calls I was short the 35s and I had some vertical spreads vertical call spread okay and then I reshorted of course reshorted reshorted covered here because I was like uh, this was on the market was bouncing I wanted to keep it safe covered it like I don't know what the, what the price is and it's gonna expire so how do I do better in here? The thought is okay. So this is if anybody has improvements or ways to improve, I'm happy to hear. Thought process here is I'm shorting the 40 calls and the price for this when I'm doing this was, I remember shorting in here. I started, it was equity and then I started shorting the calls as well. Yeah, I started shorting the calls as well. Then here I added. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, and even here, I was shorting the 40s. So the thought process here was actually, look, I think even here, I'm shorting the 40 calls, they were giving me $8. So I was like, if the stock goes to 48 48 was hella high. If this stock goes to 48 and it gaps up something, technically speaking, um, at this point, I don't know. I don't think I had coronavirus sector in there. Like I had a lot of buying power. So if it had gapped up, the thought process was, you know what, I'm just going to go along the equities. So I'm debating between this and doing vertical spreads. 
This one clearly I enjoy. I'm more comfortable. But uh, all it takes is one time a big gap up and I'll shit my pants and take a big loss. Whereas vertical uh, thing, I could cap my loss. Maybe I should do this and just add a vertical spread head. Just every time I short, I just add. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. MYO did good here. Um, yeah, that's all. The video is getting long. Let me see if there's anything else I want to go over. No? Just be cautious with the coronavirus sector. I made a video about it. Feel free to check it out. Uh, if you made it this far and if it was helpful or beneficial, uh, click like and subscribe and share it with somebody if it helped out. And yeah. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Bye.